Uh, so this therapy is what's known as cofactor therapy. So when you have an enzyme that doesn't work uh, or doesn't work well due to a mutation, one uh, well-established approach is to try to chemically push that enzyme to function better, try to get more out of less, if you will. So if you have an enzyme that only fought, works at you know 10 to 20%, try to chemically push it to be more effective get more function out of the, re the remaining enzyme that's there. Uh, and, and so that, that's the approach of 923. Now, what's really important about using that approach is you have to be sure that you have a compound that can drive that enzyme, get it to work, get it to work better, and also be able to just from a pharmacology standpoint, make sure it gets absorbed easily and gets delivered to the cells so the cells can use it. Um, and, and that was really an important uh, important part of the, the 923 story uh, because one of the existing therapies, Kuvan, uses a similar approach of trying to drive enzyme function. Uh, but what we know from developing 923 is it's much more bioavailable. That is, it's much e more easily gets to cells, gets inside the cells so it can be used. Uh, so that when you give 923, you can be sure it's going to get to where it needs to go and perform that important function of driving the, the enzyme to function better. So I should mention that PTC nitrofusion is an oral therapy. It's taken by mouth. Uh, and uh, we've done work already. It's been through phase one studies and done well. We, we did a phase two study where we compared it actually head to head with uh, Kuvan. Uh, to see how well it worked for patients with PKU. And what we found is that we had an excellent response in terms of lowering phenylalanine levels in patients treated with 923. In fact, um, we had about 50% more patients uh, responded uh, to uh, PTC923 than to Kuvan when they were given both therapies. They, we got to see how they behaved or responded to both therapies. And also we had a much greater uh, reduction in phenylalanine levels with 923. We also saw in that the most extreme cases, what's referred to as classical PKU, where there's very little enzyme function, we were able to see uh, important benefit in terms of phenylalanine lowering. So that's really, really good signs that we have a therapy that's getting where it needs to get and doing the job once it gets there. And so now we're at the point that we're ready to enter phase three or the pivotal trial of PTC923, and we're getting ready to launch a global trial that includes kids and adults, so patients of all ages at study sites around the world, and this phase three uh, trial is going to kick off uh, mid this year, and we expect to have data from this trial uh, towards the end of next year, 2022, and then our hope, of course, is then to move forward uh, and uh, work towards getting the therapy approved uh, for kids and adults all around the world.